Hey guys, Matthew saying 90 here. I hope you guys are having a good day today. Today is Wednesday, December the 6th. And right now, I'm actually just walking around right now. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm actually on Victoria Ave right now. You see, this is uh, Victoria Ave in Chatham. Um, so yeah, I'm just walking around right now. I'm actually gonna be hanging out with Dustin today. Um, so yeah, we're gonna be hanging out at some point today. Uh, I went to work today and it was all right, yeah. Um, it was kind of a slow day at work, so like I didn't really do too much, but I mean, it was so okay. But I hope you guys are having a good day today. Let me know in the comments down below and let me know how your day is going. Because like I said, my day is okay. And actually guys, guess what? It's actually really nice out in Chatham today. Like you can probably tell it's like really sunny today. And surprisingly, it's not that cold. Like right now it's only like two degrees, which I know that sounds cold, but it's actually really nice out. Like the sun's out, it's not even windy today. Like it's actually really nice. Like. Oh yeah, it actually feels really nice though. It's like nice and mild, it's like sunny, it's like, it's gorgeous outside. Yeah. I know I'm wearing my winter coat, which honestly, I feel like I should have worn my lighter jacket or at least two sweaters. Because I'm not gonna lie guys, I'm actually wearing one sweater underneath this jacket and it's kind of hot in here, like it's a little sweaty. But uh, it's like, well, oh well, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. but yeah, it's really nice out today guys. So if you guys get a chance to go out today, uh, be sure to enjoy this nice weather while you can, because, uh, yeah, it's actually really nice today. I actually, I honestly did not expect it to be this nice out, because earlier this morning when I was heading to work, it actually was, like, a little cloudy and, like, cold, but after work, it actually got, like, really sunny, and it actually got nice out, so I was like, hey, that was cool, um, but yeah. And I hope you guys enjoyed the last video I posted, which was my reaction video to the new GTA 6 trailer. Yeah, I did a reaction video yesterday to the new official GTA 6 trailer. If you guys haven't seen that video, the link to that will be in the description down below if you want to check it out. And I hope you guys enjoyed yesterday's vlog as well. I did a... Oh, no, wait. Uh, I did Last time I vlogged was on Monday. Sorry. I did the reaction video yesterday, then I did a vlog on Monday. Sorry, I got a little confused for a second. But I hope you guys also enjoyed Monday's vlog. If you haven't seen that video, the link to that will be in the description down below. Um, so yeah. Now, I am going to be hanging out with Dustin, like I said, you guys. And uh, Dustin's actually going to be doing a vlog today because today is actually Dustin's three years, sorry, three years of doing YouTube. Can you guys believe that? Dustin's been doing YouTube for three whole years. He started his YouTube channel exactly three years ago today in 2020. December 6, 2020, Dustin started his YouTube channel. Well, made his first YouTube video, but you know, still. Like, wow, that's pretty crazy, guys, how exactly three years ago today, Dustin started his YouTube channel. Like, wow. Um, but yeah, like I said, I'm on Victoria Ave. It's actually pretty nice around here. It actually is really nice here. If you, if you come down Victoria Ave in like the spring or summertime when like all the leaves are on the trees, it's actually so nice, like, it's really nice going down Victoria Ave in, like, the spring, summer, even fall, too, when, like, all the leaves are different colors. Oh, yeah, even, like, fall, too. Wow. Well, I know it is still technically fall, but since there's no more leaves on the trees and we are getting closer to winter now, you know, it's, it's kind of weird saying fall still, right? But it's okay. <laughs> um, but, yeah. And also, guys, apparently, uh, Bren actually just announced two shows at the Elephant's Nest for December. As Bren's going to be playing at the Elephant's Nest on Saturday, the 16th, so in 10 days. And believe it or not, but Bren is actually going to be at the Elephant's Nest on New Year's Eve. For a New Year's Eve party. Or concert, but you know. So, yeah, the, yeah Bren's going to be at the Nest twice this month. Uh, he's going to be at the Nest on the 16th, and then he's going to be at the Nest on New Year's Eve. So, Wow. That's pretty cool. So if you guys want to go check out Bren, he's going to be playing at the Elephant's Nest on December 16th and New Year's Eve. So he's going to be playing at the Nest twice for December. I'm probably going to go see him on the 16th because I'm going to want to spend time with family on New Year's Eve. So I'm probably not going to be going to his New Year's Eve show anyways because I'm probably going to be spending it with my family. You know, I want to spend New Year's Eve with my family. So, you know, I'll probably just go see Bren on the 16th. So, yeah. As actually, um, when Bren, when a, Excuse me, when Brenton played at the Nest in November, I didn't go see him because I, I don't know, for, you know, reasons, but, uh, there, there is a reason why, I just didn't want to get, in, I just don't want to get into it, but, yeah, Brenton played at the Nest in November, but I didn't go, 
Although the last time I saw Bren was actually in October. So yeah, literally the last time I saw Bren of the nest was in October. And now I'm gonna go see Bren on December 16th. I'm gonna make sure I can actually go see Bren on the 16th. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go see him. Like, I will go see him. So yeah. So that's one of my plans for December too, guys, is I'm gonna go see Bren on December 16th of the nest. So yeah. All right, guys, well, I'm gonna pause the video for now and I'll pick it back up once we're heading downtown to go meet up with Dustin. So I'll pause and I'll catch you guys in a bit. All right, guys, I'm back now and now I'm downtown. I'm actually just in front of the Capitol Theater now. Uh, so Dustin's gonna be on his way soon, you guys. He just told me that he has to let his dogs out and then he'll be on his way. Uh, now, guys, my phone's actually low on battery right now. Like, literally, it's at 12%. So I'm actually gonna try and film this part as quick, quick as I can, just in case my phone dies. And sorry about that, it's just that bus van over there is backing up how convenient but um you back up a little further like come on finish up there you go <laughs> sorry guys um so yeah i'm gonna try and get this part of the vlog up or record it as soon as i can because like i said my phone is low on battery um i was actually thinking maybe when me and dustin meet up we can probably maybe go to my house because I can charge my phone there because I actually left my charger at my house I forgot to bring it so I can maybe let him know that and then we can probably maybe take the bus home or we can walk to my house and then I can film a little bit at my house and plus Dustin hasn't been to my house in a while so maybe if we go to my house we can play like GTA and actually Dustin plans on recording his vlog for his three years on YouTube and what we were thinking for his three years guys is this was one of our original ideas but we were thinking of uh, maybe Dustin could reenact his first video at my house. And so if we go over to my house and hang out, it'd be kind of perfect, actually. We can do that. And so, yeah. And we can play some GTA. We can film a little bit of that. Wait, guys. Hang on, guys. Wait. Santa Claus is riding on a motorcycle right there. Hang on. I want to get this. Hey, look at that. Hey, Santa. <laughs> Guys, look at that. There's some guy dressed up as Santa riding a motorcycle right there. <laughs> oh, that's sick. <laughs> oh, wow, that's cool, guys. Look at that. The guy literally dressed up as Santa on a motorcycle. That's awesome. <laughs> um, but yeah, guys, so if me and Dustin go to my house and we hang out there, we'll film a little bit of GTA gameplay. And, uh, yeah. And then Dustin can film his vlog at my house, so, yeah. So, I'm gonna actually gonna pause the video again, guys. So, if I don't vlog again with Dustin while he gets here, then the next time I'll vlog is when I'll be at my house. And so, I'll pause it and I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Okay, guys, I'm back now and we're now with Dustin here. Hey, you boy. Oh, oh, oh. Um, sorry if I didn't vlog uh, while we were here earlier, guys. We actually been here for like a few hours now. Yeah, pretty much. We were basically playing GTA 5 and we got like distracted doing like funny skits. Playing, playing GTA, funny skit. Look at Snapchat filters. <laughs> yeah. Oopsie, dude. <laughs> oh, what? Um, but yeah, guys, so we were actually here for a few hours now. And again, sorry if I didn't film earlier when we were here. Mm -hmm. I wanted to film when we got first got here, but I kind of got a little distracted. Dustin actually did part of his video. Right? My three years of doing YouTube. Yeah, he just did. A, he he did the first part of it. He still got to finish it. Yeah. So yeah, I just wanted to film here for a little bit, you guys. Um, and we're probably gonna be hanging out soon. It's actually like nine o'clock. Yeah, we can slowly, you know, get ready. Start walking all that shit. Yeah. So in that case, I'm gonna. Turn my power PS4 down. off. Hmm? What? Yeah, power down and... Oh yeah. Get the PS4 off. Cause, you know... What the f... <laughs> okay guys, I seen this picture on Snapchat, it's like <laughs> Freddy Chat. Crimson Chat. Crimson Chin. Okay, um... But yeah. Um, so, I know I didn't get to film a lot with Dustin today. We're still gonna film, we're just gonna like, start walking very soon. Yeah. We'll probably walk, like, we'll probably vlog when we're walking a little bit, so, you know, that way it's not just Dustin for a little bit in the vlog. And then, yeah. Yeah. I just wanted to film in here for a little bit, but I'm going to slowly start getting my... Stuff ready. Stuff ready, bud. Get my sweater, get my hat. Yeah, because who knows how cold it's going to be. You never know, right? So, 
Yeah. Also, guys, I uh, made Dustin dinner. We had chicken fingers, french fries, and cucumbers. Cucumber. Delish. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, guys. Also, do you remember uh, the last vlog I told you that I got a letter bomb CD? Well, here it is. Hey. hey. That's pretty sick. That's pretty good. So, I was actually... Don't want to play that. I <laughs> copyright. Yep. Yep. <laughs> yep. I would definitely copyright it. Definitely. Especially if it's on a speaker. Here, can you hold my phone? Can you yes. hold this? So I can use two hands to open this. I'm going to put the CD back in the case for you guys. Alright. Oh, yeah. Turn that off. And then put my CDs away. My. So does. CD's nuts. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> so, yeah, guys, I got Letter Bomb CD and Dude, this great CD. Hey. And they're all going back in this year. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah. Alrighty. And you gotta put your other stuff on. Yep. Alright, guys, I'm gonna start getting ready now. Uh, we're gonna start heading out. Actually, we should do the thumbnail. Yeah, over here. So we don't forget. Why are you making that face? <laughs> oh god. <laughs> yeah, I might, after that, I might do my thumbnail too. That way I don't forget. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> you sure you want to do that? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Okay. Did he do it again? I love it. Oh boy. I mean, God. <laughs> I don't laugh. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> Okay, guys, I'm gonna get out of here now. Well, I'm not gonna get out of here. I'm gonna pause it again and I'll film one more time when we're walking back to Dustin's house. So, pause it. Catch you guys later. Yeah. Okay, guys, so now I'm just out walking around. Uh, I know I'm not with Dustin right now, and that's because we actually ended up dropping him off at his house. Uh, we dropped him off like maybe like a couple hours ago, and I just ended up walking around. Yeah, because my, my parents offered to give us, give us a ride. And so we actually dropped Dustin back off at his house, and then I decided to just walk around afterwards. So I'm actually walking around still. I'm actually heading home right now. I don't know if you can tell, but I'm kind of near the casino right now. Like, there's the casino right there. Um, but yeah, and I'm at this, like, little plaza in front of the drive test center in Chatham. Um, so yeah. And it's a little cold outside now. Like, I think it's, like, well, it's actually still 2 degrees, but, you know, since it's nighttime... It's actually a lot colder now, and it's a little bit windy, so that's probably why it feels a little colder. And actually, I kind of made a mistake, guys. Um, when I said earlier in the vlog that it was two degrees, at the time, it actually was four degrees. Like, it actually got up to four degrees today, so it, no wonder why it actually felt pretty warm. In fact, literally the next couple days, it's actually supposed to warm up to, like, really nice. Like, literally, um, I think tomorrow is supposed to be, like, seven or something like that, and then I think Friday is supposed to be ten. Yeah, I think on Friday, it's supposed to be 10 degrees. I'm pretty sure it's, I think it's Friday. I, I think. Because last I checked, I think tomorrow's supposed to be like 7 or 8 degrees. And then Friday, it's supposed to be 10 degrees. Like, hey, it's finally going to be like nice, nice weather. Probably it might be nice enough to wear just a sweater outside. Or two sweaters, but yeah, depending if there's wind. Um, but yeah. Sorry, guys, just put my bag on. Because I am going to start walking soon. Um, but like I said, I'm just walking around now, guys. I'm actually heading home right now. Uh, and yeah, like I said, it's a little cold outside. I'm, now I'm actually glad I'm wearing my winter coat because now it's actually like, like pretty chilly outside. Oh yeah. And yeah, you can probably tell it's now nighttime because literally now it's like 11 o'clock. Um, so I'm gonna go home, get ready for bed because I have to go to work tomorrow because you know tomorrow's Thursday. So yeah. <laughs> I actually can't believe that we're very soon going to be almost, you know, to the weekend already. Like, damn. Kind of feels like this week is going by quick. Like, now that now tomorrow's Thursday, which means in two days it'll be the weekend. Like, literally after tomorrow it'll be Friday, then it'll be Saturday, and then it'll be the weekend. And then it'll be off on the weekend for, you know, Saturday and Sunday to, like, go back on Monday. But, yeah, it's not bad. Um... And actually, guys, Dustin told me that apparently there's now exactly two weeks and four days until Christmas. Because literally, or no, Christmas Eve. There's actually now two weeks and five days until Christmas, but there's actually uh, two weeks and four days until Christmas Eve. Because since today is the 6th, 
exactly two weeks from today is actually the 20th, December 20th. And, you know, four days after the 20th will be Christmas Eve because it's the 24th. And then, you know, the day after that is Christmas, the 25th. So, yeah, that means there's now exactly two weeks and four days until Christmas Eve. And two weeks, yeah, two weeks and five days until Christmas. Oh, wow. Huh. So, I guess technically that means there's still almost about three weeks, almost until Christmas. And, oh, I gotta wait because the light just turned yellow. But, yeah. If you really think about it, there's still kind of technically three weeks until Christmas, but there's actually now two weeks and five days until Christmas. That's not bad, though, actually. Um, literally, this uh, Sunday will be exactly two weeks until Christmas Eve. Yeah, this, this coming Sunday, the 9th, will be two weeks exactly until Christmas. Hey, that's, that's pretty, that's pretty, I think, that's actually getting pretty close. And it's like almost about three weeks until New Year's Eve. Almost. But you know what I mean. Now I'm not gonna cross Richmond Street. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try and uh, film the rest of the vlog for you guys because it's getting cold outside. <laughs> and honestly, my hands are starting to get like freezing cold. So I'm gonna try and make this quick for you guys and I'll end the vlog soon. But yeah. And we're just passing by Mr. Sub. I actually haven't had Mr. Sub in a while, like, tell you the truth. <laughs> I honestly don't remember the last time I even had Mr. Sub, like, if I'll be honest. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, but yeah, that's crazy, guys. Like, there's now about two weeks and four days until Christmas Eve. Almost two weeks and three days until Christmas Eve, and then almost two weeks and four days until Christmas Day. Because, you know, tomorrow's the 7th and all that, so, yeah. But yeah, like literally, by this Sunday, the 9th, there will be exactly two weeks until Christmas Eve. Like, wow, can't believe it's almost two weeks until Christmas now. Like, can you believe that, guys? Almost two weeks until Christmas. And then almost three weeks until New Year's Eve. Wow, like two weeks until Christmas, and then three weeks until New Year's. Like, that's crazy. Huh. Like, I bet you, I bet you December's gonna go by quick. Like, it's gonna go... Like, snap of a finger, it's gonna go by quick. Then, before we know it, it's gonna be Christmas, and it'll be New Year's, and then 2023 will be over, and then it'll be the New Year, and then it'll be 2024. Yeah, like, very soon, 2023 is gonna be over, and then we'll be in 2024, the New Year. Wow. <laughs> Damn. But yeah. And also, guys, apparently, at a Red Barn Brewery in Blenheim, they actually had a mystery concert there today, and believe it or not, but a pretty popular Canadian punk rock band called Gob, like literally it's Gob, G-O-B, Gob, G-O-B, and they actually played at Red Bar Brewery in Blenheim tonight because it was a mystery concert. Like, wow. That's actually pretty cool that a pretty popular Canadian punk rock band, Gob, played at Red Bar and Brewery in Blenheim, and this band, they actually opened for other bands like, believe it or not, but this band actually opened for Billy Talent and Papa Roach before. Like, that's actually pretty sick how a band that opened for Papa Roach and Billy Talent, they actually played in Blenheim today at Red Barn Brewery. Like, that's actually pretty sick. Like, just imagine that. Like, a band that opened for Papa Roach and Billy Talent actually played in Blenheim today. Like, that is crazy. Like, that's pretty sick. Like, I find it really cool that Chatham Ken has actually had, like, a lot of cool bands and artists that are, like, pretty popular and, like, had bands that opened for, like, bigger bands. Like, if you guys are from Chatham, do you remember back in 2019 when Kid Rock was in Chatham? Like, we once had Kid Rock in Chatham. We once had... The Trues, Sam Roberts Band, you know, we had Finger Eleven, I'm Mother Earth, and Big Sugar, which actually Big Sugar is going to be playing at the Capitol Theater in March, so that's pretty sick. Um, and literally today, we had a punk rock band from Vancouver, I think, Gob, played at Red Barn Brewery in Blenheim, and this band actually once opened for Papa Roach and Billy Talent before. Like, that's pretty sick. Like, actually... 
Oh yeah. And we even not only did Chatham Ken ever had like really cool bands and artists, like not only have we ever had those, you know, famous bands and musicians, but we also actually had some like famous people in Chatham too. Like like I said, Kid Rock. We also had Randy from the Trailer Park Boys recently in Blenheim at which is now level up arcane bowling, which used to be Retro Fun House. He actually recently played there like four days ago. That was kind of, that was pretty sick. And I believe even like years ago, we actually had like the actual Trailer Park Boys cast, like Ricky, Julian, and Bubbles. I think they actually played in, in Chatham, or they were in Chatham like way back in the day. But yeah, that's pretty sick. Oh yeah, and we actually had some uh, pretty popular like country artists in Chatham too. Like we had Tim Hicks, Dean Brody, Brett Kissel. Uh, Actually, I think, actually, one time in 2019, actually, I remember going on this website where you can look at, like, old concert, like, dates for, like, bands or artists that played in, like, places around the world, and apparently, Johnny Cash actually once played in Chatham, like, back in the 60s. Like, wow, that's pretty sick. Like, imagine that. Johnny Cash in Chatham. Like, that's actually kind of cool, like, if you think about it. Yeah. So, yeah, guys, like, I'm, re I'm actually really surprised that Chatham Ken has actually had, like, some really popular people in, like, bands and all that play here. Like, we've had, like, Kid Rock, Tim Hicks, Dean Brody, Cobb, Finger Eleven, I Am Other Earth, Sam Roberts, you know, The Trues, and Tea Party, Big Sugar, all that. Like, wow. Even, like, Trailer Park Boys and, uh... I, f I swear, I feel like we had some more people here. Oh yeah, that one guy, uh, that one car guy that's on a TV show that was at Rims and Ribs. I forgot what his name is and what show he's from, but yeah, he was there and he's actually kind of a popular, like a famous person. Yeah. Oh yeah, in March, uh, Vanilla Ice actually was in Chatham because he was stopping at Crayus Poutinery for lunch because, uh, the day Vanilla Ice stopped in Chatham for lunch, he actually played in Windsor, uh, literally the day before, and he was actually heading to Aurelia to play at Casino Rama. And on the way there, he actually stopped in Chatham and had lunch at Craze Boutinery, which is literally on Richmond Street. So we had Vanilla Ice in Chatham before. I almost forgot about that. And that was in March this year. So, you know, that was like, you know, earlier this year. But still, like, that's actually pretty sick. Oh yeah. And we even had some, like, somewhat popular, like, politicians in Chatham, too. Like, I know, uh, I think Doug Ford was in Chatham one time, like, when he first became Premier, I think, like, 2018 or 2019 or roughly around there. Doug Ford was in Chatham. I remember in 2019, uh, Justin Trudeau actually stopped in Tilbury. I remember that. I don't think Pierre Polyev is been to Chatham yet to do one of his rallies or if he's ever been to Chatham like at all before. I really hope Pierre does come to Chatham and do one of his rallies. Like I think it'd be really cool if like Pierre Polyev does one of his like rallies at like the Bradley Center here. That'd be kind of cool. Like, I, I can honestly kind of see it. Yeah. Because you know we had Justin Trudeau in Tilbury in 2019. I believe Doug Ford was in Chatham at one point like when he first became Premier. I swear, I feel like he was. And, yeah, we actually had a lot of famous people here. Like, some famous people and, like, politicians that I would love to see in Chatham are, like, like, some famous people and, like, politicians that I think would be really cool if they came to Chatham were, like, some of them are, you know, Pierre Polyev. Um, it, it would be kind of cool if Kid Rock came back, but, you know, I don't know if that will happen. It was only that one time in 2019 because it was for, you know, Retro Fest and all that. Um, maybe like a Canadian, maybe like a famous Canadian actor, maybe? That'd be kind of cool. Like, it would be cool if a famous Canadian actor played, you know, came to Chatham. That'd be kind of cool. But, yeah. Because, yeah, for politicians, I do remember that Justin Trudeau actually stopped in Tilbury in 2019. And I swear, I feel like I feel like around 2018 or 2019, I swear, I feel like 
Doug Ford actually came to Chatham and did like a like a meeting or like a rally there or something like that. I think Doug Ford might have done something like that. I feel like he did. I don't know. If I, if he didn't, then <laughs> I'm surprised. But I'm actually surprised though. Like I'm I'm honestly surprised though that uh, Pierre Polyev actually have never did a rally in Chatham, like for his uh, you know campaigns and all that. Because um, ever since Pierre became leader of the Conservative Party, he's been going around like many cities and towns around Canada <clears throat> and did like one of his rallies, like his campaigns and all that. Like I know, like this year, <clears throat> excuse me, he uh, he did a rally in Woodstock. Uh, he's been to London, Windsor, uh, Cambridge, Sarnia, Kitchener, you know, all that. But I'm also surprised that he's never done one of his rallies in Chatham yet. Like at the Bradley Center or something like that. I mean, who knows, maybe next year, in 2024, Pierre will come to Chatham and do a rally at the Bradley Center. I feel like he probably will. But, yeah, that'd be kind of cool. But yeah. Okay guys, uh, I think I'm probably just getting the vlog now. Uh, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, be sure to smash that button, subscribe to the bell on. Uh, since you guys didn't really get to see Dustin much in the vlog today, uh, go subscribe to his channel. Uh, he actually did his vlog today because it was his three years of YouTube. Um, if you guys want to check out his video once it's uploaded, I'll put a link to it in the description down below and go subscribe to his channel, like I said. And go follow him on Instagram and his TikTok. Uh, his links will be in the description down below. By the way, sorry if you guys can't see me. It's a little dark down here. <laughs> Um, be sure to follow me on Instagram and my TikTok, the link in the description down below. Uh, go check out my band's Instagram, my band's TikTok, the link in the description down below as well. There you go, now you guys can see me. Uh, the links to those will be in the description down below. And like I said, go subscribe to my real fan channel, the link to that will be down below. Hope you guys have a good rest of your day. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.